Hey y'all, it's Julie, Gulf Coast Stitches. Um, back for an update. Today is Saturday, October 5th. And as I promised, we're going to have a sidewalk sale. Now, how, how are we going to do that? Well, I store all the um, charts for my shop in totes, Sterilite, big Sterilite containers. And I am going to simply grab a tote um, over the next few videos and mark down everything that's in the tote, whether it's a new release, whether it's a, an old chart that needs some new attention, because my goal is to get all of these totes condensed down so I have empty totes to take with me to Nashville to Needlework Market. So, as I said, um, some of these things are new, some of them you've seen before, some of them you may have never seen. Um, but they're on sale. So the discounts will be anywhere from 25 to 40% off depending on the chart. Um, so whatever you see here, make sure to go to my shop, www.gulfcoaststitches.com to take a look. Um, I'm going to try to remember to tag everything in the clearance bin. This is going to be an incredible lot of work, so bear with me. Just keep checking the site frequently. If there was something that you saw in this video that you pop over to the site right away and it's not marked down yet, please just check back, okay? Because it's going to take some work, but I'm going to get through all these totes. And we're going to just take them one tote at a time. So that's the sidewalk sale information that's going to be happening. Um, new to the shop. I'll, I'll show you new to the shop first, then a couple of my whips, then we're going to jump right into this. I'm so sorry if that was loud. Yikes, I just slammed that on the table right, right next to the computer. Um, these are new to the shop. A Murder of Crows. Look how beautiful these are. I can't wait to stitch them. In fact, I probably won't wait. I'm such a starter. I'm a serial starter. Absolutely. I'm a part of that nation. Um, I love these. I'm going to say I love every single thing because if I don't love it, I don't bring it into the shop. Janine McGowan does it again. You guys have probably seen this already, but look at that squirrel. He is so adorable. Mm, that one's been out for a while. This has been out for a while, but for some reason, I don't think I ever loaded it onto the shop. This is Liberty Liberty Lane by Abby Rose Designs. It is so cute. We've seen these before. This is just additional stock. Okay, this is one I'm super excited about. And I was not prepared when I saw the model on the front because I'm pretty sure that this is stitched on Tula. Let me find out. Fiddler's cloth, only 14 count, but it sure looks bigger than that. But I was just excited to see this as an available chart um, at the distributor. And as soon as you see it, you're gonna see why. This is Blackbird Design. Look at the back. Just the back, look how, ah, uh, that is just amazing. I love, I absolutely love that. Um, this is just the back, guys. Uh, Blackbird Designs American Star. So it, it looks really like it's done on like a 10 count or a Tula in the photograph just based on to scale with this. Um, I'm so, it'd be so anxious to see dif different people finish this on different counts of fabric. Uh, 65 by 65. I have a few of these. I fell in love, had to order it right away. So that's just the few things that are new to the shop. I just did a video, how many days ago was that? Like two days ago? Thursday? I don't know. I just did a video a couple days ago and um, I haven't really done a ton of stitching since then. Um, I will update you on the whips as they come along. Also today has been an entire day of cleaning and organizing my stash. I was listening to Fiber Talk, I think it was not this one, not this past midweek, but the week before. And Vonna, Vonna Pfeiffer said something something along the lines, to paraphrase, that she thinks she should touch your stash once a year. Nothing in your stash should go untouched. Well, the only part of my stash I've been touching is the top of the pile as I've been adding and adding and adding for at least the past year. So I decided to pull it all out, take a hard look at it, as I told you I was going to do in a previous video, and I uh, made some decisions, and I have an entire reusable shopping bag 
completely full of stuff to be unloading. So make sure you join the Facebook group, which is Gulf Coast Stitches Community. I always post my de-stash there first, always. I think I've de-stashed like three times ever. Um, but I post there first to give everyone in, in our community group a chance to like kind of first dibs before it goes to stash unload because you know how that is. If you're not watching stash unload, something will come up and it'll be gone in a hot second. So I, I just like to do that first. So Gulf Coast Stitches Community is a Facebook group just where I can communicate. Um, I don't always have time to film a floss tube, but I can usually jump on Facebook, do that. It's a chance for you all to all communicate with each other. It is such a supportive and awesome group. I think in the history of the group ever, we had like one troll ever. So I feel like that's a huge success. I haven't been I haven't been as active on there just because the new job, visiting Sarah, traveling. Um, she will be coming home here next weekend, so I'm hoping for at least a quick snippet of a video, but definitely some Instagram stories. Um, I hope I get a, a, enough time with her. She has a lot of people to visit and see. She's gonna pop in for the weekend, and then next week it's back to back to work, but midweek. I think it's the 16th maybe of October. I don't have the date 100% in my head. Um, we, Robbie and I leave for Iowa. So speaking of Robbie, she made an appearance at Keepsakes this week. I'm so sorry I wasn't with her. Barb, if you watch this video, Stephanie, I love you guys. Um, I can't wait to make it to that shop. I'm happy to report uh, Robbie sent wonderful pictures and i uh, I just love, everybody knows how awesome Keepsakes is. I just can't wait to get there. And we'll be there for StitchCon, so it won't be too long. Um, yeah, so here's my whips. I'm scatterbrained tonight. It's nighttime, which is why the light is even weirder than normal, and I look a little paler than normal. As I said, I spent the whole day playing with my, organizing and, uh, repacking and all this stuff with my um, stash and tonight the family went out to a festival and I was like I want to go but I'm so close to being done with organizing this um, and it's real hot outside so I don't really have to look really hard for an excuse not to want to go outside although I miss the family they have gone on to the festival which gives me time to film this floss tube and that's also why I'm kind of discombobulated because I never film a floss tube at night. I don't think I ever have. Maybe one or two. Um, it's nighttime. It's at the end of a really long day. Beverage time. Here's my whips. I pulled this out forgetting how far I, when I was cleaning. I also today in the stash, the whole stash um, petting situation, I cleaned the pit. If you wonder what the pit is, go back a few videos. Sarah and I did a tour of the pit. Um, it didn't look much different than when we did that tour. So I did, I did a clean out. Like I said, I have so much stuff to unload. Um, but when I was doing a clean out, I was looking at what do I want to take with me to the Midwest? What do I want to stitch next? What do I need to touch? How far along am I on all of these things? You know how it is. It's like something shinier and prettier comes along and we forget our whips. So I took today to go through those and I pulled out Eliza Garside. So not that we should have favorites. Maybe we do. Um, in my top list of designers is Summer House Stitchworks. Beth Seal does an amazing job. Um, you're going to tell as I go through what I've got going on who my favorites are. Love Paulette Stewart, love Beth Twist, love Summer House Stitchworks. Um, I picked this up and I need, I needed, it's not for this one, it's for another one I have in wool. I needed avocado wool, which has been so hard to find and Robbie managed to send me some at Stitcher's Paradise in Las Vegas. Um, it doesn't go for this project, but it made me think of it because this one is in wool and this is how far I am. I, I've forgotten. I didn't even realize I had got the border laid in, the vines of the border anyway. And this is stitched with General Arts Simply Wool. And 
I love it. This is 32 count fabric. You use one ply of wool. It is fantastic. So I'm taking this to Midwest. Oh, my computer just did a thing. Um, Y'all, I don't even know if I'm going to finish my smalls exchange because I'm not feeling it. Is that, I know that sounds horrible. Um, there's going to be one smalls exchange. Has to be a Brenda Gervais. I love Brenda Gervais charts. I have a ton of them. I I'm about halfway done with one, but so many other things are pu are pulling me to stitch them. So I feel like if I stitch the smalls exchange, I just don't have the excitement about it, which is horrible. So I might just finish it on my own time and then gift it to someone because when I pick up projects like this, this is on um, Old Gold. I believe it's all gold by XG Design. I think that's the name of it. Could be wrong with that. I didn't write it down. Um, it's vibrant. It's the the stitches are plump. It's just luscious. I I want to stitch on this and a couple of other things. And if I do that, um, I only have like a week and a half before Midwest, something like that. Two weeks. I don't know. I'm not gonna make it. So I don't know. But this. Here's the wools in my fancy Ziploc bag, but I'm going to show them to you anyway because they're gorgeous. This is just a few of them. I won't pull them all out, but y'all, those are true to color. Look how soft they, they, do they look soft? Is that a thing? Can you look soft? They are lovely. I might actually enjoy stitching with wool more than I do with silk. I'll let, uh, just think about that for a minute. I, I love stitching with that wool. Something else, another, yet another stitching addiction to thank Robbie for. It's in a shark bag. So. Let's see. Oh, and this bag is a Made by Mama June bag. I got it in Midwest last year. And this holds, this is a Plum Street Sampler freebie. But this is a 12 Days of Christmas sampler, and I believe she uh, released a block a month, maybe maybe a block a month or a block a week. I don't know. She released them a block at a time in 2015. They're all still available on her blog. They are so adorable, and it's um, three colors. It's a red, a green, and a black. So the red that I chose, I don't want to tell you wrong. I chose, I chose, I selected Country Redwood, which is one of my favorites. The green I'm using, Garden Moss by Victorian Motto. So you can see these together. Ah! And then there's black, just a little bit. But this is how far I am. I'm stitching this in hand with one strand over two. And I'm using an Easy Glide needle. Y'all know I love my Pat Carson needles. But on these... This is 36 count. I may have said 32, but it's 36 because I'm stitching with one over one, one over two. Um, if those easy, those ball tip easy glide, I think they're called, um, they really help stitching in hand on a higher count. They help me, it, they just locate the, the hole between the linens so easily. So I'm happy with those for that purpose. Sometimes I use a Q-snap, sometimes I use a hoop, but... I'm doing this one in hand. So this is going to Midwest for sure. Because it, if I get some more blocks put in, then it's just fill in the block, which is easy. Easy stitching. As long as I don't have to count the blocks, because my head will explode, because I'm already going to be in excitement overload from seeing my friends. This is another Made by Mama Joan bag that I also got at Midwest. Because how could I not? So cute. There's actually two projects in this bag because I don't know why. <laughs> because I'm I was too lazy. I'm not gonna say busy. Too lazy to go get a second project bag when I when I had a shiny moment and knew I wanted to stitch this right away. So um, I don't know if I talked a lot in my last video about my trip to see Sarah, but we went. We spent some time in Franklin, which included a trip to the Carter House, which is this house. This is Mama Carter's sampler. Her name is Elizabeth. Um, oh, I take that back. 
Mary, but she went by Polly Atkinson by the time she stitched this sampler. But I think of her as Mama Carter because this is her son, um, Todd. He, really long story short, there's a ton of history available on this. Um, he came home on furlough and did not have to fight in the Civil War because he was on leave. But the this battle happened at his house and so he did what any young man of that time would do and he got on his trusty horse and went off to battle in his backyard and um, was he was found barely alive pretty close to the house brought back to the house um, he didn't recover from his injuries and he was um, they had a wake there for him at the home which was super emotional and I know Pam and some of her friends went there during market last year and I just messaged her from from this place and said this is a sacred place it it made me feel like I, I started tearing up and so did the tour guide um in the basement of this home it was there's was just definitely a present a presence there and um I felt really humbled and honored to be able to be visiting that home and it's fascinating so Carter House Sampler I had this in my stash already they did have it kitted up there which I loved um I don't have I didn't bring it in here well, at least I put the chart in the project bag. The project is sitting on the arm of my chair. Um, I'm about a quarter way through the alphabet and this upper left-hand corner. So, I believe, I'm not sure if this chart is in this box or not, but I do have them available on the shop. And also, Stitched started at Midwest. This is my bag from Stitchville that this chart was in. And I fell in love with this. I'm close to being done. I just get in the mood and out of the mood for it, to be honest with you. Um, this model is stitched on like a 10 count and to see it in person is just outstanding. It is amazing. It's in like an 11 by 13 frame, some, uh, 11 by 14 size, close to that frame. And it's just a stunner. And then when I got home and started stitching it, I still love it. I'm stitching it on Heroic, my PTP. It's 40 count, no. 36 count um I was like man this just doesn't this just doesn't not have the same effect as this to me visually and I it's a cute and I'm over what I'm about two-thirds of the way done I have to fill in this side of his body and three three feathers and I couldn't, I just couldn't put my finger on what I didn't love about it as much. So I'm like writing it off as all oh, the, the photography. But then I was like, no, you saw this in person and you loved it. And then I read, I read the uh, supplies list. And yeah, this was stitched on, it says this was stitched on 18 count linen, but um, with 18 count linen over two, over two linen threads, so those are some big X's with pearl cotton. So that's why it looked different. But I still like it. I, I haven't been in love with it, but I'm so close to a finish. It reminds me of Minnesota, um, this bag, the whole experience. So I'm going to finish that because I'm so close to being done. So those are kind of my focus pieces for this week. And now, what you've all been waiting for, we're going to start um, ripping through this box. So again, I'm going to show charts on here. They may have a price on them, they may not disregard that price because they're going to be on sale. Um, some of them may already have a sale price marked, so it's not the price that you see here in this video. It's the price that you see listed on my website, which again is www.gulfcoaststitches.com. Um, absolutely ready to move some stuff out, so y'all keep me busy, okay? I'm going to go through these. Give it, it, I'm going to upload this video, and simultaneously while I'm uploading the video, I'm going to take some time to go through and mark the, these items on sale. There, it's just however many quantity I have. They're going to be on sale. And um, give me, like, give me a break a little bit if you go immediately to the site to pick something out and it's not been marked down yet. Like, honestly, it's Saturday night at, like, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm having a be beverage, spending some time with you guys. I'm going to get through as much of this as I can, but... I may not get it all marked down until tomorrow. So 
just check the site. That's all I can tell you. Also, it's important to remember just because you put something in your cart doesn't mean you've bought it. So if you put a bunch of sale items in your cart and you leave it hanging in your cart, then somebody else comes along and buys it and you go to check out, it's going to say there's an error with your cart and you're not going to have the same items that you thought you did because somebody bought them. Make sense? Clear as mud? I thought so. Okay, so you'll see some, um, I've got a box right here next to me. You're going to see that these are the, the older totes aren't super organized. So I may bounce back and forth a little bit with designers. Um, but there's some cool stuff in here too. And there's going to be some weird sounds because I'm pulling stuff out of files. Okay, this is Be Home by Legacy. Look how cute this is. I can tell you that this is already marked down 50% off on clearance. So this is available for four bucks. So if you're a bee person, you can pop over to the site and get a four buck bee chart. Some of these items are already on sale, as I said. Uh, Old Woman in a Shoe, this is also already clearance. This is clearance for $5.50. Look how cute that is. It's a lot of stitching. Tellin, em Tellin Emblem. This is Poinsettia. I want to call it Cardinal, but it's called Poinsettia. Has the embellishments that you need. Tellin Emblem Clematis. Also has embellishment. Barbara Anna people. My Barbara Anna fans, get ready. As I said, whatever is in this box, I'm going to mark down whether it's currently on sale or not. Through the Woods. Look how cute that is. I can't stand it. Oh, look away. Don't buy it. I'm ta talking to myself. You don't need to keep that. I give you my heart. Spring Heart. Oh, look at those colors. Those colors say Lindy Stitches to me. I have Black Cat Hollow Part 3 and Part 1. I don't know if we're going to see a Part 2. I may be sold out of that. But these are 40% off, and I have a, several of them. Part 1, and I do have Part 3 available as well. Crowded house. It's like a cut through, cut out, cut through. I'm not sure. Somebody correct me. This is one of my all time favorite charts. Why haven't I stitched it? Because I only have two hands, that's why. Oh, Christmas tree. Look at that. Ah! You can't start another chart right now. You can't start another chart right now. You can't start another. I'm trying to hep myself up here. Autumn tree. I'm doing this like upside down and backwards because I'm trying to hold my place in this um, Sterilite container while showing you the charts. So sorry about that weird angle. Cinnamon Christmas. This is stitched in two colorways. I don't know if you can see it there. The cinnamon version and the red version. I absolutely love that. Fruit Thief. So cute. This was super popular last summer. I have about a couple left. Strawberry Harvest. The Branch. Look at this. Okay, I've got to rearrange myself because this is getting difficult. Hold on. Do a placeholder. 
I want I want you guys to take a better look at this. Look at that. Why haven't I stitched this? I was afraid this would happen if I went through this box. Oh, Halloween tree. Witch house. There's going to be a glare. I'm not going to unwrap all these. They're brand new charts. They're Like I said, I'm, I've marked them down only because I need to move them out. This is Hocus Pocus. I have a few of these. can't wait to see what the designers have for market this year. And I'm limited on my space, and that's what I'm going to do. However much space I can fill up, that's what I'm bringing home. This is totally cool. Okay, so now we're through the Barbara, An Barbara Anna's, I think, for this box. And now we have some Little House Needleworks and Country Cottage Needleworks. These are, so, this is cool. I like Little House Needleworks older charts that are hard to find. And um, it was like a quest for me to get some of them. And I have started zero, which is crazy because I'm a serial starter. Um, this is an adaptation of an Adam and Eve chart. I am obsessed. Elizabeth Hancock, 1831. On clearance. Little House Needlework. This is a big one. I love it. I love that the original is pretty far removed from her reproduction. Okay, so here's the thing about that. I love a reproduction. An authentic reproduction complete with all the mistakes. I also love that they can buy this original and be inspired to recreate it and you can look at it and tell it has the style of Little House Needleworks. I love that. I have one of those. Elizabeth Hancock. I also have one in my stash, but I'm keeping that one. Love is in the air. Little House Needleworks Valentine's. Spring has sprung. This is a horrible picture. Uh, no way you're going to be able to see it that good. It's cute. It's got three little bunnies. Glitter House Village. I have several different. This is number. This is number three. I also have number five. It's a little church. Ah. Oh. I also have, do a little organizing on the spot here. I also have two and three, what, two, I have them all. Two, four, these are pink ones. These are respectively two and four. So cute. Bernheisel family, Bernheisel Kenyon family. Um, if you have, if you don't have all those glitter house, now's the time because they're on a super sale. Beachy Keen, ah, this is so cute. Feeling Beachy Keen. Sorry about the glare. Like I said, it's nighttime. It's nighttime at the beach. And several of these. Land of Liberty. That's super cute. I would totally change the blue just because it's, I would go, I would have to do a Priscilla and go old blue jeans on that. Maybe even old money. Those are on major sale. Christmas birdhouse. Oh, look how cute. That, that one is in my stash. Happy Holidays. This was just released in 2019. 2018. I'm sorry. We're in 2019. Last Christmas. It's got like a buffalo check that you stitch around it. Or you could just run some ribbon or rickrack and just stitch the words. So cute. This is another one of those older ones that I'm obsessed with. From Little House. These is my words. Um, that, I, I've seen other people, um, kind of stumble over the, the name of this, 
It is, in fact, supposed to be These Is My Words. That is a line from a book by Nancy Turner. Um, the book, I think the book is called These Is My Words. Um, it's about life on the prairie. It's fantastic. I love it. How many times can I say I love it in this video? Well, we're about a quarter of the way through a box, so that's that tells you anything. This is another old one that I just love. I say old. Uh, 2016. When I say old, previously released, not not a new release. Here's the church. The I absolutely love those trees. Every time I say love, you guys take a drink. Water, wine, whatever. We'll either be hydrated or plowed by the end of this video. Or both. <laughs> love that. Here's another one. Homestead Sampler. You guys just don't see these that much. This is Little House Needlework. Homestead Sampler. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. I have all of Jack's Tree Farm on sale. Um, it is the cutest. It, it is. A, I think Hometown Holidays is my favorite than Jack's Tree Farm for sure. Um, I'm going to stitch it one day. Sugar and Spice. My little house needle works. So adorable. This, this is a lot harder work than I thought. All of the Welcome to the Forest. The, all of all of the Welcome to the Forest months. Um, like I said, I'm at this weird angle because I'm trying to hold a place in the box. That's the banner or centerpiece, however you want to do it. And I have all of the ones. These are all 40% off. Farm Fresh. So cute. I know I'm going fast, but I've got a lot to go through, and you guys can pause this at any time. Merry Christmas. Why haven't I stitched this? Why? I have several copies of this. It is fantastic. What is the matter with me? So I keep starting new stinking samplers, that's why. Safe Harbor. Hands-on design. If there's one designer that has a way with fonts, it is Kathy Haberman. Kathy, you kill it with the fonts. This is brand new, as in, within the last month. These will all be on sale in the shop. Autumn Skies. Why? Because by the luck of the draw, they're in this box and therefore will be on sale. This is a beauty. I've got a lot of these. The Everyday Sampler. Look at the, I don't know if you all can see the colors of this are like purple and yellow, green. That is gorgeous. I have several of these. So the verse says, let me pull my placeholder here. The verse says, Everyday God invite us invites us to reflect on the past with its experiences of joys and sorrows and through God's mercy and grace give thanks and look forward to a new day. That has to happen. This um, is 195 by 178 so that's a larger chart for Kathy Haberman for sure. Boo chock full will be clearanced. Wreath House. This is adorable. It's done in a tri-flat fold, like a tri-fold. Um, but you can stitch them individually. You do get all three of the charts. They were previously released separately, but you do get them all. A Harmony in Autumn. This is one of those square pillows that she's come out with this year. House on a Hill, if she's calling them. It is a pin cushion and a scissor fob. You get the chart for both. I wish everyone could see those in person. They are absolutely amazing. My House, My Home by Little House. The 
random Teresa Kogut. Welcome spring. That's out of place, so I'm going to move it to the side. My country, tis of thee. So cute. Home of a Needleworker. This is Home of a Needleworker Squared. This is the new one from Market 2019, and it has a floss pack, and it's going to be on sale. Little House Needleworks Hillside Travelers. Little House Needleworks Four Seasons. Little House Needleworks The Mercantile, which I stink and love that. That is a mustache. Just touched, just went through my entire stash today, so I'm well aware of what I want to start immediately. Warm Winter Woolens, Little House Needleworks. This is on sale and has all the floss. This is Summer and it's floss pack. Just saying. It's cheaper than buying the floss if you go to the shop and buy that right now. Look at this, Mary Bate. Look at that. That's a picture of the original. I have, I'm sure I saw this um, in market. Um, either the original or, or the stitch reproduction. At any rate, it's a big one, it's beautiful. It's that time of the day where everyone's coming home on their boats, so if you guys hear um, weird sounds, it's boats. This is a Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, I have several copies of this. I, the picture does not do this justice. This is Elizabeth Mary Gandy. The blackbirds, just when you see this in real life, they just pop. The house is like a light peach. It's amazing. It is on a very serious sale. Jenny Bean, Jenny Bean, Jenny Bean, Adam and Eve. Why could I not get that out? Ugh. Jenny Bean, Noah's Ark. Jenny Bean and the Good Shepherd. Basket of red, white, and blue. These are kitted with linen and the floss. Clearance. Basket of eggs. Same story. Super steep clearance. And Hobbs. Ugh. The colors in this are like... Um, three of the colors are wh ones wheatgrass, vanilla pudding, and baguette. Oh, they're so muted and beautiful. Fractor bird kit, complete with spool and floss, not linen. She included the spool in lieu of the linen on that one. This is one that I haven't seen very often, but I had to buy it for my own stash, so I bought a few for the shop. It's I Love the Birds. Holy Moses, of course I love the birds. I love that. Um, this is steeply reduced because I have a ton of them. I just thought everyone would scoop this up as I did. But this is God Save the Queen. I love it. Hold please for one second. The family... Is sending a mess. Oh my goodness. My stepdaughter just sent me a picture of little pink piglets. So amazing. Love that kid. Okay. 
now there's going to be some summer house stitch works. I'm going to go ahead and say I love it. So hydrate and cheers. This is a corksicle. My favorite, these are my favorite cups. I've talked about these back on my first year of floss tube. They have flat sides and I have um, issues with my grip because of elbow surgery. It, it just makes them so comfortable to hold. Mm. Okay, summer house stitch works. Here we go. I just brought this in the shop. Hark, hark. Perfect for Christmas. I am in, obsessed. I'm, I love everything about this. It's in the box, so it's on sale. Next week, the stuff that's in this box will be removed from sale, and the next box will go on sale. I'm not sure if I made that clear or not. This is a sidewalk sale, so this is what's coming out this time. Look at this summer house stitch works. Pam. This is the BAS sampler, but does that not look, doesn't that have a patriotic feel with that Quaker star? Everything about this is just screams Americana to me. I love it. Pam, if you need that in your stash, it is going to be on sale. Red work. It's a law to always have a red work sampler in, in action, in motion. Look at this baby. Mm. For market last year, justice for all. Justice for all. Barn star Christmas. These are little ornaments. The pictures don't really do them justice, but they're like little Quaker stars. Tamara Bowen, I feel like you would oh, really like those. She's my Quaker friend. She's not, she's actually, I don't think she's actually a Quaker. She likes Quaker motifs. I'm not sure. Sister Suffragette, good night. I do not need to film videos at night. Some, I feel like Kyle Ruckmeyer is somewhere laughing at me. If anybody's curious what is in the glass, in the corksicle, it is... It is bourbon and caffeine-free Coke, but it's a, it's a new kind of bourbon that we've never tried before from Conecuh, Alabama. They make great sausage there and great, great bourbon, that's for sure. American Farmhouse. This was a hit last year at market. I still have a ton of them left, so let's move those out of here. Pumpkin Spice Everything. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. I did Pumpkin Spice Farm last year. Okay, here's some a few RETMs. These are incredibly hard to find. Out of print, can't get them anymore. I have a few. I have George and Florence, A Great Generation, Gobble Couple. So RETM charts are super hard to find, and I absolutely love these. Florence Nightingale, look at her. Oh, I need I need to stitch that for Sarah. What am I even talking about? I'm not going to do it. I have a ton of those. Sarah's doing great in nursing school. Bonnie and Clyde. Gobble couple. We are watching Longmire on TV right now and obsessed. I'm so obsessed. It makes me want to go to Montana like right now. All right, I'm just going to pull this whole folder because my shoulders are getting sore from reaching over there. Okay, remember Lizzie Kate? Everyone? I do. I love Lizzie Kate. And um, Lizzie Kate retired and then Hoffman, no, one, two, three stitch got rights to re-release or something and somehow a lot of us shops are left with Lizzie Kate so here you go this is the doggy string I'm covering up the prices intentionally because I'm gonna lower them and I yeah I don't want any confusion um, this is Spring smalls and summer smalls, and they have the embellishments. I just have a, like one or two of each of these left, but let's get them out of here. Let's get them out of here to make way for new stuff. Tangles, tingles, tingles, tangles. 
It's Halloween Fright Night Tingles. The Autumn Alphabet. This is really beautiful when it's done. I love it. I'm not going to stitch it. Has the embellishment. This is the Christmas Tiny Tidings. I have Tiny Tidings number 186 and number 8. I like this one. I'm obsessed with these. I have these. I'm I'm keeping I'm keeping one of each because they're so vintagey, they're stockings, so cute. The Florum examples. So you get all those smalls. Cute. Some Lizzie Kate. Michelle Rudy made me do this, and as a result, I have a boatload because I was like, I have to go buy all these right now because Michelle's doing it, and I love her, what she does. Sampler's not forgotten. I went on a kick. Sampler's not forgotten. Autumn 1831. Look at that. I'm dead. I want to start it. It. I want to start it right now. I'm. am a sick person. I want to start all the things all the time. Elizabeth Jones sampler by Lottie Da. That eighteen thirty one autumn is like. Oh, I love the primness of it. I'm going to just flip through these real quick. These are all already clearanced in the shop. They are the, um, they're released on the Jardin Privé website, but they're by um, Camille Colicom. Um, I could show you the price on these because, look at that. So cute. Steph, that looks like something you would stitch for sure. Look at that tree. Not to mention cats. You could specialize the specialize, customize the cats. Yes, cats. More cats. These are forty percent off. Random. Doesn't belong in there. Already on sale. Go grab them, please. Rosewood Manor. So, I love Karen Kluba. I love her charts. This is Charity. Um, I picked these up at market. It's a 2019 release. And Karen Kluba's daughter was in a horrible accident. Her name is Rachel Gibbs. If prayers are part of your life, say a prayer for Rachel. Um... They, uh, it says here, money goes to the hospital where our daughter is being cared for and has an art fund set up in her name. She was in a horrific accident in 2015. We miss her terribly and hope to honor her with these patterns. Thank you, Karen Kluba. Absolutely gorgeous. Christmas girl. There's spring girl, summer girl, autumn girl, and Christmas girl is so cute. These are Alessandra Adelaide. I'm obsessed. You guys know I did Madre Terra this year. Look at that. A few of those. I want to stitch this as a wedding chart for Dan and I because I feel like it looks like masculine and feminine. I don't know if that was their, what they were going for, but that's what I get out of that. Love it. These have not yet been marked down, but I will mark them down after this video. I 
I didn't try to say all those names because they're Italian and that'd be tough for me on a good day. And just into the shop today and somehow um, these will not be on clearance, not not this week, in a future week box. They're, they're in here and I just forgot to show them to you. Uh, this is with thy needle and threads release that came today in the mail. Um, these are adhesive um, sampler labels inspired by 18th century wood engravings and each one of them is a pack of 10 and all 10 designs are different. The only one I can see is the front and the back. I think those are fantastic. That's a great idea, Brenda. And holiday hoopla! Thanksgiving holiday hoopla! Because we don't have enough, I just said we don't have enough cute turkey charts. There's like three or four cute turkey charts. Now there's this one too. I love it. So um, the last two are new Brenda Gervais. They are on the site already. However, they will not be clearance. Everything else you saw today in this box will be um, the new items I hope to have added by tomorrow. And please, if you haven't already, join my Facebook group, which is Gulf Coast Stitches Community. Gulf Coast Stitches Community on Facebook. Um, I stand by for D-Stash. I have an entire, huge entire bag. Um, a lot of it is n new stuff, stuff that... As I buy for the shop, I keep one back for myself, but I keep those inventories separate, so it will really mess things up to include those back in. So I'm just going to de-stash them. So um, I can't keep everything. I can't stitch all the things. I want to. I, I, want, I literally want to stitch my days away, surrounded by the ones that I love. But I can't do that. Um, not realistically. So I did the once a year stash. Stash handling. I hope everybody has a great night, a great rest of your weekend. I can't wait to catch up on FlossTube. I'm going to upload this video and go watch it in the living room on the big TV while the family's gone. And um, But first, I'm going to clearance all these charts. So I hope to see y'all's shopping carts fill up. I hope to see lots of packages going out. Um, they will Today is Saturday, so these packages will go out Monday or Tuesday. Um, if you purchase right away, some of you might not watch this video until six months from now. Um, if that's the case, if you've made it this far into this video and you saw all these charts that I'm going to be clearancing, um, these charts are not going to permanently stay on sale. This is a sidewalk sale, good old fashioned sidewalk sale, um, but it's a virtual sidewalk sale. So I'm going to mark them down, then I'll um, adjust that price back up when I mark down the next box and that's just how it's going to work. So. Um, Please don't reach out to me and say, you know, oh, I just saw this video. Can you still, or is this chart still on sale? It is the early bird who gets the worm. So I love y'all. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.